All right, guys, what's up? We are about to do our Ancestry DNA, um, little DNA kits or whatever to send them in because Mitch got me these for my anniversary gift or as part of it because I've really wanted to, I've been really wanting to know like my ancestry and stuff. So we got DNA kit. Hey, this one's mine because <laughs> you already opened that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how long it takes to get the results back, but you just gotta like spit in a tube and mail it in. Activate a test. Okay, you have to spit in like these little tubes. You actually have to spit a lot and I'm kind of, Oh, not too much. It's yeah, like it stops right here. At the wavy line, though. It Good. stops. It stops right here, though. So you don't have to fill all this up. Oh. oh. Jesus. You sure? Oh, okay. He's just going right for it. How do you even spit in the tube? Okay, don't watch. <laughs> We've got an audience behind the camera. Don't. This. No, don't. My watch. buddy's here from Minnesota. Wait, oh, you leave this in. I was like, how? Okay, this is like literally <laughs> so disgusting. Don't force it. It's like what you do for your anniversary. You get a DNA kit, spit in some tubes. She's always wanted to do it, yeah. so I was like, right, I would get it, because I'm not going to get it otherwise. <laughs> this is... Ew. Ew. It's Gross, so babe. What am I supposed to do? I'm not supposed to have chewing tobacco in the <laughs> <laughs> I just have a bunch of bubbles, yo. I know, me too. Yeah. Of course, I just let the spit come. Mm -hmm. Let the spit come. This is so gross. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's forcing it, buddy. I got like, I I'm almost there. Bubbles in you. I know, you do. I wonder I'm what that means. Too. It means I'm dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said don't overfill, but. Oh, really? What about mine? I can't tell. No, almost one, there. one more good spit. Okay. <laughs> Work it out. <laughs> Maybe like tap it to get rid of the bubbles. Because you've got a lot of bubbles. Okay, so the, the directions, remove the funnel. Yep. Put this mm -hmm. thing on. It has like blue liquid in it. Yep. And you screw this and you'll know it's screwed because all of that will release. All right, tighten to release the stay away. Shake the tube for at least five seconds. Two, three, four, five, we'll go six, we'll go seven. <laughs> we won't be sure we get the right results. We won't be sure. <laughs> All right, and then we put in these packets. Mm -hmm. Send it off to the lab. What is this little thing down here? Do not, oh, don't remove it. <gasps> no, don't remove this pad right here. Oh. You have to <laughs> remove this to close oh, it. Oh, <laughs> already <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, sign still delivered. Put it in this little box. And we just signed our life away with the devil. <laughs> to the government, basically. There's gonna be like a little dusty sheet that's been made. Yeah. They're gonna be breeding in Australia. The first army of clones have been made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all need to knock on wood because, oh my god. The perfect specimens have now been found. <laughs> we will now reproduce them in the millions. There's an island of just like 40,000. I would love to go see that one day. Yeah. Alright, mail those out. Hopefully we get our results soon. We'll update you guys. That should be interesting to see what we are. We yep. already know Mitch is German, so that's like not well, watch me be, be Watch me be, you know, Austrian. And I'm actually my enemy. You know? <laughs> Alright, until we get the results. Alright guys, our results for our Ancestry DNA just arrived. Mm -hmm. We're in Minnesota. We didn't expect this to happen. We didn't. I was just like, hmm. I was literally thinking about it. I was like, yeah. let me just go check. And then Mitch was like, the results are in. Yeah. Gotta get it yeah. live <laughs> on camera for you guys. So, yeah. um, we are about to give you our real reactions to our results. And like, I'm so excited because Me I too. literally have like no clue at all. But Mitch yeah. has kind of been doing like research so cool. with his family tree. So he kind of has an idea, but this is going to be you so interesting yep i can't wait let's do yours first mine yeah why mine is the you think more interesting yeah interesting okay yep. for some reason my heart is like racing dna wait don't like yeah i want to look first no, no way oh, wait oh, yours wait. is still going <gasps> no way what that doesn't make any sense so why am i in here I guess we can look at yours. 
Okay, I don't so, know how yours got here, got done quicker than mine. Yeah. Like, that makes no sense. All right, guys. Well, we only have mine today. All right. But I can't wait. Me I need to. I need to look at this. Yeah, we'll do mine whenever I get them again. Okay. Okay. Let's now I'm literally go. about to scroll down to my results. Yep. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. 42% Norway. That's the highest one. So 42% Norway. You're Norwegian. Yeah, Eastern Norway. So I'm like nearly half percent Norway. Yeah. Opland, Slidref, Ford. Ford, and Valdres. And then 30% Germanic um, Europe. Yep. And I knew that. And 25% England and nor Northwestern Europe. Drop it down. Let's see, like, specifically. It doesn't really say. It doesn't really say. And that, I actually didn't know until very recently. Um, but it <laughs> makes sense. Like, I'm glad that we found that. Because almost everything that I've been doing for my ancestry stuff, ha it matches up with this. Yeah. So I knew you, I was German. So you were on the right track. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew I was Norwegian. Uh -huh. I just found English and Britain and Scottish ties and that matches up. Wow. And then one two percent Irish and one percent Eastern Europe and Russia. Wow. The Irish, the little bit of Irish in there makes sense because his sister has red hair, his nephew has red hair. Yeah. Anyone else in your family have red hair? Um, people in my in my mom's side. Oh, that so totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. Wow, mm -hmm. what my DNA connects me to two genetic communities. Yeah. One in eastern Norway. And one in early Wisconsin settlers. Makes sense. Um, and that's where, but that's where like Germ German people and Norwegian people settled. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I have family living in Britain and Norway. Wow. And Wisconsin and Alaska. Oregon, Utah. You have a lot of family in Utah, it looks like. Yeah. Wow. So that's pretty cool. I knew, I kind of already knew that that was the case though. Mm-hmm. That's why I wanted to see yours. I know, because I literally have no clue. Like, yeah. no clues None. at all. Like, because I asked my grandma, and she doesn't even, even know. Yeah. So it's like, okay, like, yeah. we're really clueless here. Because the problem here, and do you mind if we talk a little mind. about this? No, let's this? talk about it. So we've, we've discovered some of her history, right? So when we were doing destiny's ancestry yeah like my family tree and yeah stuff. most of the lineage goes back to slavery right mm -hmm. and you you just have the some of these weird instances where you have you know the father's name and then the mother's name is like betsy or sally mm -hmm. and the father's name is something very european yeah and so it you know it's kind of iffy circumstances where that comes from you know mm -hmm. where john hopkins anderson jefferson comes from right. you know right. but you don't know where betsy or sally comes from right, right. because they were slaves and you you have no idea of their family history mm -hmm. so you can't there's no there's no track record of those people. Yeah. You can track the 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 Europeans back to mm -hmm. like England and something. So she might have a little bit of that, but the the Betsy's and Sally's and stuff like that. And I say that because those were like two names that showed up, Betsy yeah. and Sally, um, in those circumstances. Mm -hmm. And so you have no idea if do they come from you know, the the south of Africa or the east coast. Of North Africa right. or where where did they come from? You know, right. you really don't know. So that's why this DNA is really fun. Like I could mm -hmm. find all my stuff, most of the stuff on Ancestry, just looking at documents. Yeah, she can't. You know, and so that this is why this was like so cool to do. Yeah, because you know? now we can finally realize where where you're from. Oh well, yeah, exactly. I'm mm -hmm. so interested to find out. I'm just shook that they like. How do they have your stuff? Maybe my stuff is more complex and like difficult. Who knows, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to see mine. Yeah. Once we get Destiny's ancestry, which is really the fun part of this, um, we will get back like like we just did now. We'll get yeah. back on. Get back on and share with y'all. Yeah, exactly. What it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Let me just make sure. Yeah, just refresh it. Weird. So weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where's that Native American blood, huh, buddy? <laughs> well, there there was a supposed <laughs> Native American tie to my family, um, but it's obviously so small that it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll be back when I get my results, and they should be pretty interesting. So, yep. 
stay tuned to the next clip. All right, your results are in. All right, guys, remember, like, I don't know, three weeks ago, we were saying how Mitch got his DNA results and we were waiting for mine. Well, they finally came in. I have been refreshing this page to get my results for like literally two weeks. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> Nigeria. <gasps> oh, a lot. my God. This is so why many... it took so long because I'm so many things. Yeah, Holy crap. Okay, let's dissect this 32% Nigeria. Yep. 21% Cameroon, Congo, and West Bantu peoples. Yep. Um, 11% Benin and Togo. I, if I'm pronouncing <laughs> that wrong, I'm sorry. 10% Mali. 9% England and Northwestern Europe. I knew that one. Yep, I knew that one. <laughs> That's so weird. So I'm English. Yep. I'm European. <laughs> Germanic Europe. Yep. 4% Germanic Europe. 4% Ivory Coast and Ghana. This is crazy. I'm so many things. You were literally like four things. I'm like, I'm not kidding you guys. 12. Yeah. Um, 4% Senegal. 2% Sweden and Denmark. There we go. 2% Scotland. And 1% Ireland. What is going on? That's crazy. This cannot be real. That is real. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Yeah. So I knew that she was going to have European in her in her dna uh -huh. um because this is kind of the the weird thing that you get confronted with as, as, as an african-american when uh -huh. you look back in your ancestry and you have like this clearly english or european name like john anderson henderson you know what i mean <laughs> right and you're like oh you know okay that was a slave slave master relationship mm -hmm. you know or or not relationship but like something you right something you know? was there situation exactly <laughs> situationship and you know it's kind of like an ugly thing to to be confronted with and then you have to be confronted with because like clearly your head goes like oh so well like you know S sally or betsy is my ancestor it's like well no that european guy is your ancestor yeah. too you know which is like the messed up part that you have to like confront yourself with it's like oh that's part of my dna now yeah you know and it's crazy stuff yeah that's what that like when i was going through her stuff i'm mm -hmm. like oh my god like <laughs> this, this is, is crazy. crazy yeah um but yeah holy crap that's why it took so long yep. i'm literally like 12 different from 12 different parts of the world so yeah 32 percent um nigerian holy yeah. crap so the range is 14 to 39 yes um yeah. Wow, okay, the one that I'm most shocked about, Sweden, Denmark, Scotland, and Ireland. Like, what? Yeah. Scotland and Ireland makes sense because you're England. Germanic Europe? Like, I'm yeah. so confused. And then the Germanic Sweden and Denmark makes sense because those were very tied to, together. Yeah. This is so crazy. Yeah. And, and I, actually, when you go to all the all the African countries that you're from. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all Here, on... Here, you can show them. Oh, okay. They're all on that coast that would be, you know, it's like a mixture of all where, where the Europeans did the slave trade mm -hmm. when they went to Africa. Um, so that makes sense, you know. Yeah, there are some things on here that I have never... Some countries I've never even heard of. Yeah. Benin and Togo or... Benin and Taga, like never heard of that before. Yeah. Molly. All right, well, what do you think? Well, this is crazy. I'm going to spend like days dissecting yeah. this. I know you are too because oh, you yes. love this stuff, but I can't wait to share it with my family. Yep. Because, You'll be hearing more about yeah, this. Yeah, I'm the sure. first person to like do this in my family. So, yep. wow, this is so crazy. We know what you ah! are. You're Nigerian. What's up? I'm Nigerian. I'm a lot of things. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And maybe we'll talk about it more in depth in another video. But we will see you guys in our next video. Peace out, guys. Bye. All right, guys. We were ending the video there. And Destiny reminded me that a new kind of revelation came up in my DNA. Turns out, after I was matched, 
uh, someone who had been doing their family tree reached out to our family because they discovered that we had been matching with this one person in particular who turned out to be my half uncle that we never knew about. Uh, we never knew that my grandpa had another child. Not sure he knew, not sure my grandma knew either. Uh, I've never met that grandpa, by the way. He passed away in 1990. I was born after that. Um, so we, we don't really know uh, where this came from, but it's just a crazy revelation that everyone in my family who was doing their ancestry was matching with this person. So it's pretty, it's pretty certain that he is a family member. Uh, we never knew it. He was adopted. Um, so just crazy things can happen when you go through with something like this. So we figured out what destiny was. Uh, we found a long lost half uncle that I never knew about. So I encourage you to do this if, uh, if you have the means to, because it is fun to figure this stuff out. But like we said, guys, we will see you in the next video. Peace out. You could be there something good.